Welcome back. Today's lesson is going to show you how to add color to your digital scratch art and use the app called Pixlr to create an image that looks like this. First begin by opening up your original digital scratch art project in Medibang Paint. From here, with your photo layer hidden, you are going to add a new color layer and you're going to move it underneath your black layer that has your erased out drawing in it. Then we're gonna use the gradient tool. First, we're going to locate the gradient tool, which is on the top menu bar to the right of the paint bucket tool. It looks like a rectangle that is shaded in. The way that your gradient tool works is that you need to select two colors using the color picker. You will notice that there is a black square and a white square in your color picker. In order to select the two colors, you just need to tap that square and it will toggle or switch between your two color choices. You select colors by moving the outer ring of color to the area that you wanna select color from and then you can move the inside rectangle to the lightness, darkness, or brightness of that color you'd like to use. Additionally, the gradient tool has two options. One is linear and one is radial. In the linear mode, your gradation will go from left to right or top to bottom, depending on how you drag out your gradient line. And in radial mode, your gradation will start with one color at a center point and color will radiate out around that point like a circular glow. So what you are going to see me do here is start to select some color choices. So I'm switching between the two squares to select two different colors just by tapping those squares in that upper left hand corner. The gradient tool starts by needing to drag out a line. So with your finger on your iPad screen, you are going to drag a long line from one corner or one side of your canvas space to the other. So what you will see me do here is I am going to tap where it says radial and I am going to be selecting um, to try a radial gradation to show you the difference. So I start with a line more in the center of my screen and I drag out that line to a corner. You have to decide how long or short you want your line to be because that will affect how smooth of a color transition your gradient tool is giving you. If you want a really, really elongated gradation, then your line needs to be longer. If you want your colors to be more contrasted and more abrupt, then you want to create a shorter line. Once you decide on a gradient that you like, then you are going to export your artwork as a JPEG by selecting the top left hand corner three lines and saving your work to your device. You should also make sure you still have a saved copy of your black and white image on your device as well. So that way you can use both of these images in your next step, which will be to use the app Pixlr to create a digital manipulation of this image. You should have the app Pixlr downloaded on your iPad or phone device that you are using for this project. We're going to use this to digitally manipulate your image. You might end up with something that looks like this. You're going to go to the home screen and import your photo. I'm starting with my color image first. Then I'm going to select the double exposure icon and add my black and white image on top of it. It's fun to play around with the options and find something that still allows for good contrast. You still want to be able to see your image. You don't want to make it too difficult for somebody to understand what your picture looks like. Pixlr has a lot of different options and filters that will allow your image to change color and become more vibrant or dynamic. So I encourage you to just explore some of your different filter options. It allows you to layer filters on top of each other so you can have multiple textures and multiple colors 
coming through your image. Another thing that I did was I went into the brush tool and I selected to pixelate. And just by waving the brush tool and dragging my finger around the iPad screen, I was able to select different areas to pixelate into these larger squares. And I thought that was kind of a unique effect, so I wanted to play with that. So here is my final image. It's kind of interesting to see how one project can start in one app and then you can continue to build and be creative with that image utilizing different effects in this Pixlr app.